What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kai Alston once again. So, I read in Huffington Post that um, Pastor Jester Williams, who did the eulogy at Miss Aretha's funeral, uh, got a lot of bad backlash. Because, as usual, um, anybody who speaks the truth, many pastors are people of power, or people of, I'm oh, sorry, or people, um, in power positions get um backlash from the left now the reason uh he was attacked because um he attacked in the black community single mothers now those of you in the black community uh that's a very uh soft topic he made it very clear that in the black community, 70% of black women are single mothers. He didn't say why, of course, because some fathers aren't there because some fathers are deadbeats. Some black women feel they need a man. But whatever the reason is, black women are in homes. And that's why in a household today, mainly in Detroit, Chicago, there's anarchy in the household and in the streets, in particular. He made it clear that in the household, the man is the provider and the mother is the nurturer. And you know, black women gave all kind of hell, okay? What is it, the 50s? He's a male show and his pig. You know how they, how they got, but he's telling the truth. Especially in Detroit where they're at now, that's the factor of why boys today are doing all these shootings and stabbings and rapings. That's the factor why. Not opinion, a fact. Most boys that act out in school or do school shootings or in prison, one commonality. They're raised in a household with no father in the house. This is not misogyny. This is facts. Hardcore facts. Some people say that that was an appropriate, uh, inappropriate eulogy. In my opinion, it's right on, uh, right on the money. Because in, in the black church, you know, I'm gonna say this, for, I'm gonna say this all respect. I don't hate black men at all. I don't hate them at all. But I feel in the black church, uh, the pastors don't tell black women the thing they need to hear because they have the money. So they figure if I offend black women, uh, the money goes. But Pastor Jefferson Williams said what so many black pastors need to say to some black women in church. Not only that, he made an analysis of how prior to integration, black men and women, we, we, we were together. We got along. We had our own, our own stores. We had our own, um, our, what was, um, even before that, in the 20s, we had um, Black Wall Street. We were together. Then in the 60s came about, um, black folks we we want to integrate with a white man and that's when the black men and women became divided really i mean jasper williams he's a he's, a, he's like a person of fresh air he is because i mean he hit it right on the nail he said so many things that so many black pastors are scared to say. I guess what happens is people got offended because Aretha had four sons and they felt that um, he's talking about her and he wasn't. He's talking in, he talk in, in general. So some felt that he was attacking her because she got pregnant at uh, 12 years old and she did, but you know, that's her, um, her truth and her path. But hey, that's life. It is what it is. It happened. But anyway, I'm Kai Alston. Uh, leave me any comments down below. Uh, press like. Click subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.